Smack him dad. Uh, yeah. Uh, my start in hip hop was when I was about eight or nine or seven. Um, a lot of people say you know they started when they were five or six, but I actually did with my brothers, like my brother Sanchez and my oldest brother, his name is Tommy. They were in an underground label, so they were recording all the time. They were producing, and it just influenced me. And they used to listen to a lot of hip hop. And at the time, we were doing like um, rhythmic poetry in primary school, elementary. And I, I don't know, at that age with that, all those things, is it, you get influenced. And I think I just, it was just that era too, like when you watch TV, it was always hip hop at that time. So, uh, yeah, just many, many influences, just radio, but mainly my brothers, because they were in the same house, always recording, making beats. Yeah. At the time, I was doing my internship, so to graduate college. And Sanchez was like, if you want to, he thinks it's a good idea if I wanted to come back and do music properly one more time in my life, this would probably be the best chance to do it. So, five days before the show, I signed up. Uh, three days before the show, I landed in Korea, and then, yeah, it was just, I don't know, I kind of missed it, I guess, like the whole music scene, because I used to do it when I was younger, but it was just a good opportunity, and if I didn't do it, I probably would have regretted it. I actually didn't know what it was. I didn't know what the show was till like two weeks before the um, before Sanchez told me. So yeah, it was just perfect timing. It just happened so naturally. And nothing was forced. Yeah. Um, advice would be like for me personally, I went on the show like pretty clueless. I went on the show to just enjoy it. Um, it's, but the thing is like it's hard to enjoy with all that competitiveness and like there's a thing called elimination. So. When people are constantly getting eliminated, it's hard to enjoy because you're always intense. But when you enjoy, you actually get to show your true talent. I feel as though that's just how it happens. So, I mean, if you fail with the mindset of, I'm not ready for this, or I should have done this or that, it's just going to be boring. But if you enjoyed it and you still failed, then you'd have no regrets in that. But the key is, no matter how high you go, it's what you do after the show. You know, that's, that's pretty behind the scene, but... Um, yeah, just enjoy the show, like, show, show, you get to show your skill, plus you get to rap in front of people that you look up to and listen to, um, that's an amazing chance, and yeah, just think of like the plan, what you're going to do afterwards, that's like what's the critical part to your career. There's nothing more um, amazing than show me the money to actually start up your career in this time and age of hip-hop with the industry and the country, so. Yeah, everyone knows that. That's why it's constantly, always, yeah, it's always on TV. For me, I, I take every challenge as like a stepping stone of getting better. And my mindset, I think, is a lot different to a lot of people in the industry. Just because of my culture and background. Uh, I'm pretty relaxed and, I don't know, I just kind of live for the moment too. Like, you know, if, if, if something fun is there to do, but I gotta do something, I'll do something fun and then do something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not always stressing under pressure. Yeah, just living life, I guess. And plus, I can rap. I, I try to rap English and Korean as much as I can. Like my upcoming album is half English and half Korean. So I've been recording a lot in New York too. So it's just a part of me. And if I'm writing lyrics about me, I gotta write about me. I'm not gonna write about something fake or you know, untruthful. But you know, I'm, I, it's not like I'm proud of it or I'm extremely pumped to be like that but I believe I'm a messenger I'm just another messenger of God and I'm just trying to you know represent like every other person representing their thing it just happens to be my um, thing and this whole career this whole music so show me the money like I feel like I have many testimonies that I could just explain and say that like if I told you oh the experiences I've had, it kind of adds up to, it's like a miracle, like that I am here right now doing this, and it was always a part of a plan, you know? And nothing happens accidentally, you know? All the bad things and good things. So, yeah, so I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty proud to say I'm Christian. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do this alone anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say this in the 20. Two zero. It's in my YouTube and SoundCloud. I like that song because I wrote it when I was 20. And if you've been in a phase where every regular kid has from transitioning from childhood and adulthood, you'll probably be able to relate. 
to the lyrics. So um, it's a very deep song. I wrote it when I was like pretty stressed out about what I'm gonna do with my life. Um, for me, as I said, with faith, you know, I trusted God. I prayed about it. Um, yeah, and this happens. So. I'm always gonna be touring. Like I'm gonna hit, like I'm gonna try to reach to every fan I can. That's just I think it's right for my heart as they listen to my music, they listen to what I make and that's the whole purpose of what I'm doing. Um, I want to become an international artist, not just a Korean artist or a New Zealand or American, I want to be international. So um, you can very, yeah, you can look forward to that. There's a, a, a few big names that's going to be on the album too and I'm actually uh, collaborating with a lot of producers around the world, um, including artists that were uh, my friends called Times Two. They're from New Zealand. They went to my high school together. So a lot of chemistry in that, and uh, maybe like the Wise from Teriyaki Boys in Japan. I got producers in USA. I got some um, very talented Korean rappers representing Korea in America too. Called um, Year of the Ox. Uh, probably I'll get Doki. I'm trying to get. Uh, I think I will get Jesse. Uh, B.Y. is going to be in there, my brother Sanchez, and maybe Ravi too, so I haven't actually hit him up, he might actually hear it for the first time on this, <laughs> but we tight, so it's okay. Uh, yeah, so it's like, it's a big art form <clears throat> of a project that I'm just, I think it'll make it a full image, so no blank spaces, it's going to be good, I look forward to my album. If you're always curious to do, to what to do next in your life, don't force anything like there's always a plan. You just gotta do the best at everything you do. Don't don't go 50% in one thing and 150 in the other. Always go 300 in everything. Um, one door opens another. And also, if you wanna follow my music career, you can follow me on Snapchat or Instagram. You don't have to. You just listen to my music. Or I'm probably gonna try come to a town near you because I appreciate um, every single one of you. And I just I just wanna thank you for listening and watching this interview for Google TV. This is Mike with the peace. Let's celebrate.